is a movement. Gamana is a travel. Gamana is a journey. How does a yogi travel in time, space and foundation? How does a non-yogi travel in time, space and foundation? Having come to Prashanti, we must learn the art of traveling in time, traveling in space, traveling in causation with a yogic bent of mind. How? A simple example. All of you travel from your places to Prashanti. And at a particular time, we do return. One day, I plan to travel from Bangalore to Delhi. There was an invitation. I had to go there. And to make this journey, I take certain precautions. I make the planning. And the planning is to book the ticket, reserve my compartment, but preferably the lower but. I was looking at the online booking and making the efforts to see that my journey is comfortable. Life's journey is peaceful. Life's journey is smooth. While choosing the husband, we are very, very cautious. Will this fellow feed me? Does this fellow prepare coffee early in the morning and give me or not? Does this wife serve me? We take hundred precautions to see that the wife is obedient, that the wife is rich, that the wife is faithful, that the wife is subservient. All precautions. Similarly, by choosing the career, job, journey in the career, do I get the salary without working? <laughs> Are we sure of pension? Right, is the principal of a college, a government institution. A particular person was appointed professor. He came, gave me joint report, and asked me a question. Sir, what will be the pension, sir? He did not ask for the salary. So sure that there should be comfortable pension. What I am trying to drive home here is we are thinking of comfort always in the life's journey. Whether it is travel by bus, train, or aeroplane, we would like to make our journey comfortable, life's journey comfortable, peaceful, cheerful, happy. And I booked the ticket, I was about to book the ticket and my wife came and looked at me. Where are you going? Delhi. I shall also come. <laughs> Rama was going to forest for the full 14 years. He thought that he would be enjoying all alone the travel. <laughs> but the wife came, I shall also <laughs> The first problem is not companionship, control. Inconvenience. I can see very well, he cannot. And therefore, Rama said, I am not going to circus. I am not going to a cinema. I am not going to a picnic. It's the forest I am going. So what, I shall come. There will be tigers. So what, what for are you here to protect me? He went on objecting to her coming. She went on requesting me, I should also come, I should also come. What is the purpose my wife wanted me to come? She did not cook. She did not stay at home. She will be happy traveling. How long can she be confined to the kitchen? Sita said, I should also come, I should also come. There is the typical woman's psychology to be free from the population of the domestic life. Trauma prevented. Continue. No, I shall come. Then Sita Devi said, You are not to play. My father is a fool. Why do you bring your father? 
when he looked at you in my middle he thought wonderful personality sriraghavam dasarathatmajam aprameyam raghukulamvaya ratnadeepam ajaal bahum arvinda dalaya aksham man man like 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 man wonderful person my father thought that you are a man But now I understand you are not a man. Striya Pusha Vigraha You are a woman In the disguise of a man Rama smiled Alright huh? No other name She came My wife wanted her And I had to do two more things Her son Grandson So the whole paraphernalia When we make the journey
Here, there is difference between yogi and non-yogi. I have arrived at the platform. The announcement says 240 minutes late. My wife does not know where we are going. Sita does not know where she is going. She is only a company. Because she does not have a fixed destination, because she is dependent, she is peaceful, she does not know English. She does not listen to the announcement. She is looking at the, the platform, people, the salaries, bowed hair, shaven hair, less hair, boys like girls, girls like boys, who is a man, who is a not a man, who is a devil, she is a devil, who is a devil, who is a devil. I am fixed to the destination. I have an expectation. She doesn't know. When you have the expectation, you have all the problems in your Up to the going to the railway station is in my hand, beyond that it is not in my hand. The train is tired. She is happy. I am now upset. The announcement says 240 minutes the train is delayed. It's only an example. A college student doing BA or BSc, co-education. He has seen the girl. This girl will be more beautiful tomorrow if she comes in a green sari. Now, he has jumped to tomorrow. He has flown to tomorrow. She is expecting the girl to wear the green sari tomorrow. He comes to the class, gets disappointed. Mind flies faster than the time. We go ahead. How many mothers are not worried about the children? Four o'clock, bell is given, children must be coming, they must be boarding in the auto. While coming, there are speed breakers. Is the auto driver proper? The mind is running faster, 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 and then the auto is coming slower, slower, slower. There is a tension, anxiety, worry, trouble. No expectation. Slow. If there is no expectation, at least on par with the time you proceed. When we jump in time, in space, in causation, we go ahead. That's why Mama Prashama, slow down, slow down. At a particular rate of time, time is proceeding. And at the same period, time let me mind travel. But unfortunately, mind travels faster. While writing, we do commit mistakes. We forget to give the strokes to the T and we forget to put the dots on I, such that the words will be missing because hand moves slower than the mind. Mind runs faster. I am now fixed to the destination and anxious. The announcement has upset me. Here, cause effect. It has its reaction on me. My wife has no reaction because she has no action at all influencing her. She is cheerful, peaceful, no expectation. Here, all expectation. My grandson is least worried looking at the people. He is looking for the ice cream wall. My wife is looking for the beautiful patu sari done by some woman. I am worried of the train's time arrival. Expectation they don't. Now, reaction is disastrous. What type of reactions do we have in our lives? Action is there, reaction is automatic. And that reaction is yogic reaction, non yogic reaction. Life is full of actions and reactions. Life is full of travel. Now, I got upset. I was disturbed. My voice is uh, disturbed. I get annoyed. I get uh, irritated. I get angry. What is my reaction? Talk to the Indian railways. <laughs> when I said to the Indian railways, my fists are tightened. Red flows, red blood flows into my eyes. 
my teeth get tighter, body gets the aim. The seal is here in the mind. That seal is the action. 240 minutes and now the mind is disturbing a calm pond. If you put a stone, there are vibrations. Similarly, the mind is calm. Pond is calm. The stone is put. The action has come. Mind is disturbed. My wife's mind is continuously calm. She is not disturbed. She has looked at a conjugal of to Sari. Having lived with me for 50 years, she has taken the liver to scratch my back. <laughs> See how beautiful is that Sari. I am already disturbed. What is my reaction? Poor lady, she is peaceful, admiring. I am disturbed, unable to admire. A disturbed mind disturbs the environment. An angry person creates anger, irritation everywhere. How many officers are not barking? In my entire life, I never entered the house from the front door <laughs> because my father will be looking. As long as I was a lecturer, I never entered the main gate because the principal will be looking. Always through the back doors. A calm mind gives calmness, a disturbed mind spreads a disturbance. I was angry. I was irritated. And what is my reaction? You don't do one. Poor lady, does she talk to me again? No. My grandson, he is not worried about me, everything. He was waiting for the ice cream. Well, ice cream fell okay. Tata. Hmm? Ice cream and ice cream. <laughs> what harm has he done? How many of us are not spoiled in our calm lives, in our domestic lives, in our public life? We are unable to be peaceful. The action is not in our hands. The reaction is in our hands. A boxer boy has come. He does not wear a watch. He has looked at me. He has seen my watch. Sir, what is it then? Run, go to the given that I am. I don't answer. The what I am trying to drive home here is the disease stops in the mind because of the expectations in life. When the expectation is not fulfilled, when the actions are not favorable, when something unexpected happens, we are unable to have the strength to receive it, <coughs> accept it, and make the journey. Somehow, I have to spend time restlessly. 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, my preliminary session. If you don't like it, you have to spend the time restlessly. You love it, rest free. The train has arrived, and now I am cooled. I enter into the compartment. On the platform, I was restless. In the compartment, I was restful. What is yoga? It is a movement from the restlessness to restfulness. While making the journey of life, while traveling from one point to another point in time, space and causation, there are expectations. There are favorable things, there are unfavorable things. Many, many things are not in our hand. We do react. No. Act. Never react. Try to act. Common example. Recently I was invited to Taj Krishna Tail in Hyderabad. I was to deliver a problem of management to certain experts. About 45 of them from various countries assembled. I was talking after the talk, there was interaction after that, there was a beautiful dinner, and each table had four, four people. I occupied one table, next table was occupied by four girls in the age group of 25 and 30. The dinner was in progress.
compass, you can imagine how this five-star hotel dinner will be. Open air dinner, wonderful. About five or ten minutes over, one lady, she pulled the table cloth, the plates have fallen, cups have fallen, this is all shattered, clothes were disturbed and she was screaming, shouting, jumping, and everybody was there. The bear came in his uniform. He asked the lady, what's the problem, madam? And there is a cockroach. <laughs> that cockroach made her scream, reacted. The bear took the kerchief, placed it on the cockroach, held it in his hand, went to the side, dropped it, came back, set right the tail. Cockroach made the lady react. Cockroach made the bear act. Bear is peaceful. Bear is calm. Bear is tranquil. The lady is disturbed. In life, hundreds of incidents take place. Thousands of incidents take place. We cannot avoid them. Let us try to accept them and act according to the situation. Never react, never get frenzied, never get irritated. We must be karyavadis, not khadgavadis. We must be in a position to face the problem, solve the problem, and remain peaceful. Entire yogic journey is preparation for the worst. Let us expect the least. That does not mean we must be negative. We have to be positive, no doubt. But at the same time, let us not get disturbed when something adverse takes place. And that is yoga kamana. By the grace of God, we have assembled here in Prashant today. All of us are travelers making a journey in time, space, and position. Let us have the ability to fix the problems, solve the problems, and remain peaceful under all circumstances, at all times, in all situations. And that one gentleman who has remained sober, simple, tranquil, serene is Sri Krishna Paramatma, let's meditate.